Hi, I'm David Dodik. I'm a professor of neurology at the Mayo Clinic. I'm president of the International Headache Society and chair of the American Migraine Foundation. And what we're doing is we're designing the, the clinical trials to try to show whether or not these CGRP monoclonal antibodies are going to be effective for the prevention of migraine, whether they're going to be safe uh, to use in patients, and what kind of side effects uh, they cause. I think these therapies are going to be transformative uh, for the entire field um, in a way like nothing else has before. And the reason I say that is because up until now, there's never been a treatment designed, synthesized, tested, and approved to prevent migraine specifically. And the reason that's important is because these drugs are so specific, they target a protein that's responsible for transmitting pain signals. So that means we know enough about this disease now to actually target a single protein or its receptor. But these drugs are so specific that there's no off-target toxicity on other organs. And because these drugs, or biologics we call them, are proteins, when they get into the body, rather than being metabolized by the liver, and rather than attaching to other proteins and other drugs in the body, they're simply broken down into their own amino acids. The side effect baggage that a lot of the drugs we use carry is enormous. And that's the reason why over 80% of patients after they start one of these prevention medications, these hand-me-down medications, they can't stay on them. So 80% have discontinued them uh, by the time a, a year passes. So the side effect profile looks very, very benign. The beauty of these biologics is that they're self-administered once a month. So rather than popping a pill once, twice, or three times a day, these are simply self-administered once a month or once every three months or infused once every three months or once every six months. We produce antibodies in our body to fight off germs, bacteria, and viruses. You can actually design antibodies to target anything you want. That's the beauty of these monoclonal antibodies. These are proteins designed to target something very specific. And the fact that we know at the level of a molecule, at the level of a protein, what to target to stop pain transmission that occurs in migraine is unbelievable to say the least because migraine's been around since um, the dark ages actually well before the Dark Ages, thousands of years BC, um, and not until now have we had anything so specific to prevent migraine. Question number one, will everybody respond? The answer is no. For, this, for some people, this protein that we're targeting appears to be very important for them. But there's a lot of individual variability between people, of course. So for another group of patients, there may be another protein or another receptor that's really important. Question number two, will these drugs obviate or preclude or make unnecessary the need to take medication for an acute attack? And the answer is no. People will have leftover attacks for which they'll need to take as needed medication to get rid of that attack. And then question number three, will it obviate, preclude, or make unnecessary uh, the need to take other preventive medications, that those daily medications that people take to reduce the frequency of attacks. And the answer is probably in a lot of people, yes, but in some people, no. So for those leftover attacks, let's say, for example, you take the antibody and you drop the frequency by 50%. But let's say you were having 25 attacks a month. Okay, so now you're down to 12 or 13. You might need something else to sort of augment the benefit or amplify the benefit that you've seen with the antibodies. Likely something that has a different mechanism of action. So you have two treatments working synergistically together, different mechanisms of action to attack the problem. I can't predict if two people walk in the office, my office, and I give both of them the same treatment. It's very difficult for me or anybody else to predict which of those two patients are going to respond, which one's going to thank me in the end, and which one's going to curse me because they're having side effects and it didn't help them. And that's unfortunate. With this new class of antibody, it may be in the future possible to predict who's going to respond. So why do I say that? Well, some people seem to have elevated circulating blood levels of CGRP, this protein. And it may be that those people who have elevated circulating levels of CGRP are the people who are going to respond to this monoclonal antibody 